What's going on everybody and welcome to another episode on Poke the Monster and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pre-Marina GX box. This is the final one of the trio and what I mean by the trio is the Incineroar, Pre-Marina, and Decidueye GX boxes that were just released into the world of TCG for Pokemon and today hopefully we can get some amazing pulls. We didn't do so great with the Decidueye. We did much better with the Incineroar. Hopefully we can get even better with the Pre-Marina. So let's see what she's got in store for us and hopefully we can get this going really good. So let's get that intro going. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so like I said, Pre-Marina GX, it's been a box that's been clashed with the Incineroar and the Decidueye GX boxes, awesome freaking full arts coming out of these boxes, and the pulls have been, eh, not the greatest, but you know what, I'm okay with how they've been so far, and I'm hoping you've been okay with it too. But guys, let's get this box cracked open and hopefully we can get some awesome freaking pulls. But let's take a look at all the yumminess that they give us in this box. Now, just like the Incineroar and the Decidueye, we started off with an awesome coin that I just clearly can't hold on to. There we go. Primarina coin. Awesome little coin. Very cool. Definitely nice little artwork on it. Add that to the collection. But also, Primarina pin. Look at that. That's a nice little pin. Great detail on it. Definitely got to say, seriously a nice one. All right. So, the cards. The cards that we're going to be getting in this beautifulness are going to be the entire evolution chain of Primarina. But they're all going to be a holographic, and Primarina is going to be a full art, textured in all its glory. So let's take a look at all three cards. So we're going to start things off with this awesome looking Poplio. Oh, there we go. There's the Poplio. Holographic promo. Very freaking cool. I'm loving it. Definitely a nice little card. Then we're going to follow it off by a Briny. I think I pronounced it correctly. I don't know. I might be butchering it. Very possible. I'm used to butchering things. Also a holographic. Very cool card. And then let's not forget about the beauty. Primarina. There she is. Oh, yes. She is in a sleeve. She's just in a pro fit. So let me get her in a regular sleeve as well. There we go. Primarina looking as beautiful as always. God, it's such it's such a good looking card. I love all three that they did from the Incineroar, the Decidueye, and the Primarina. But guys, let's take a look at the giant card real quick. Yeah, buddy. Same attacks as the regular regular GX that came out in the Sun and Moon set, but incredible new artwork. And if you couldn't see it from the tiny card. Or the regular size card. Here you go. Awesome freaking card. So let's take that. Pop that back there. Let's get these packs out. Let's change the camera angle up. And hopefully we can get some better luck from these packs. Because the first two. Well let me rephrase that. The first one. The Decidueye box was most definitely not on the kind side. I think we got one holographic rare from the whole box. Then in Incineroar we got one uh, pretty cool, I guess you could say, uh, holographic rare, and that was the Nine Tails, which was awesome, but I'm hoping we can get something a little bit more this time around. So let's get these packs open, and hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. Code for you guys. Bam. One, two, three, and as always, guys, hit that subscribe button. Get ready because I've got some treats coming in from you guys from Japan. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll just have to wait and see. But if you do, do me a favor, don't say anything because uh, I'd like to keep it a surprise. All right, so we've got a Rainbow Energy followed by a Braxen, a Spoopa, Reverse Holographic is a Vililin, and then our rare card is a... Star Raptor non-hollow rare. All right, nothing crazy. 
there we go rainbow rare is definitely actually used in today's decks for those of you who don't know the drampa decks are using rainbow rare cards but there's a code from steam siege and guys like i said in previous videos as well if you get a chance please post up in the comment section below what you get from the packs all right so we got a pokemon ranger amber palm nidorino shellos reverse holographic and a full art gardevoir hell yes that is awesome full art gardevoir coming in strong hell yeah sweet pull first ex gx that we've gotten from all of these packs that we got from the incineroar decidui and primarina and so far primarina is doing us pretty freaking nice hell yeah not only a regular g ex but a full art ex sweet deal nice all right so we've got evolutions ups next all right there we go evolutions code let's move these cards over one two three and two all right let's take a look oh uh, did i mess i messed this up i thought i did the trick right i guess i didn't all right Let's go through it. So our rare card wouldn't have been an Arcanine. We got a Slowbro Spirit Link, a Super Potion, Charmeleon, Onyx, and a Reverse Hollow Metapod. I don't know what happened there. It might have been a mispack because uh, I definitely don't mess that up. At least I don't think I messed it up. I think the only time I've messed it up is when I'm going between Sun and Moon and the old packs because Sun and Moon is now 4 and 1. All right, so Sun and Moon doesn't look like it's going to be very nice to us. There you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, and a 2. And we'll remove that because that's the energy card. All right, so we've got a Crocorock followed by an... Uh, Kumaku, DCE, Reverse Holographic Spiro, and the rare card is a Gold Duck. Okay, let's see. Pop that Spiro back there. Hopefully, we can get some better pulls from the Guardians Rising packs that are in these boxes. All right, well, this one's not going to be super nice to us, but there you go. Hopefully, it can be super nice to you guys. One, two, three, four, and two. Get that energy card out of there. So we've got a Sableye, followed by a multi switch, Sligu, Slandit, reverse holographic, and an Alolan Sand Slash for a rare non hollow. All right, let's get this Slandit sleeved up. And final pack of the box, guys. Last pack. Smash that like button. Hopefully giving me some good luck for this pack. There we go. Code for you guys. Hopefully we can get something great. Hopefully enough of you hit that like button to give me some good luck. But let's see. We got an Altar of the Moon A. Malau. Altar of the Soon A. Pangoro Reverse Holographic. And our final rare card is a Holographic Minior. All right, at least it was a holographic. Could have been much worse. Could have been nothing. But guys, this these boxes, I don't know. We're going to be bringing back the whole series. Is it worth it or not? We're going to be going through all of these boxes. Everything that's been recently released. We've got all of these. We've got the Tyranitar EX box, which yes, I do have. And that is possibly going to be the next video. So stay tuned to that. But we've got so many other products that came out. I can't think of them off the top of my head. But we're going to be doing a worth or not video on all of them. And hopefully we can get some awesome pulls. So let's do a quick little recap of what this box gave us. We got the Minior from Guardians Rising. We got a couple of awesome reverse holographics. But then we got, bam, from Steam Siege, Full Art Gardevoir EX. 
Really like that card. I like the colors. I like how they did it. And it's a full art. It's an awesome card. So guys, if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit that like button right there on the bottom. If you don't like it, then hit the unlike button. But if you guys want to be awesome and if you haven't done so already, smash the subscribe button, which is right over there. Over there is going to be a previous video as always. And seriously, till next time, hopefully it doesn't take too long this time around. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.